Sometimes when you're making a program in Calypso, you need to view some features that are deep down inside a cavity or you just can't see them right away. So the easy way to do that is go under CAD, View, and Clipping Plane. And so here you have a little control box where you can set the direction of the plane for the cutting view. And in this case, we need to switch to the XZ plane. And I'm going to flip it the other way with this button. And that makes it much easier. Now I can see the holes and all the features in this cavity. Because on my drawing, it requires me to measure some of those things, like the taper on that cone, um, all these other features on this bump. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll look at this cone taper and set that up. So with this window still open, the section view is active. If you close it, the section view will disappear. So we'll just leave this open off to the side, and I'm going to extract a cone. And another issue comes up. Sometimes when you have a CAD model that um, has little quirks or issues with it, you'll notice when you extract a cone or features like this, the scan paths are not complete. It doesn't go all the way around. So to fix that, we have to heal the model. I'm going to delete this cone first. And I will go under CAD, CAD file, automatic healing. And if I click build geometry, it does all the standard steps. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details of these right now. Most of the time, it's adequate just to click build geometry. And when you click OK, it will fix all those strange things that are going on. Sometimes the cylinder is split in two, or there's, there's other errors in the model. So that fixes that. So now if I go back and extract that cylinder or the cone again, it looks better. It's got full scans on there. So with this viewing plane or the cutting plane, I can adjust this much more easily. And with cones, sometimes if you drag on the model, it has a mind of its own. So you might find it easier just to enter in the numbers here. The start and the target height. Depending on what you need for margin. And then when you're happy with that, you can get that set up. And also I need to measure a point on either side of these flats right here. But what if you're thinking, I don't know how much space I have for the probe I'm using. So what you'll do in that case is you're going to take a point just to estimate. And then what you're going to do is turn on a setting that will allow you to view the ball of the probe as an actual size. So under the CAD settings right here, we'll go to strategy and then click display probing as a probe feature, and then close. So when I go and uh, reopen that point, now it's going to show the three millimeter ball, because currently I'm using a three by 50. That really helps a lot, especially in these section views or tight spaces. You can see whether or not that probe is going to crash on the bottom. Another cool thing with the cutting plane is that you can do a slice section. So down here where it says two planes, you can set it up to be a, a narrow slice of your part, which is handy, especially if you're dealing with very complex, maybe a casting or anything that has lots of detail. This helps limit what you see. And just a couple other things. The normal vector, this controls the cutting plane if you want it to be maybe a, a different angle instead of X, Y, or Z, you could have it go at a, a different angle. And in order to do this, you have to have a combination of numbers here. So if you put one and one in Y and Z, now we're gonna go at a 45 degree angle. If we put a half here, it goes at a different angle. So this represents the ratio 
of the angle in trigonometry, a number one would indicate a horizontal or vertical direction in that axis. And if you put a number in more than one box, that will create a compound angle. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. You can also put a negative number there to create an opposite angle, like so. And then the distance box down here, you can control the distance from zero. So that's really handy if you need to go deeper or shallower. And as soon as you click close, it goes back to normal. And if you need to get it again, you go back to CAD, view, clipping plane.